Hey fire signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your Thursday, January 10th, 2019 love reading. First row will be you, second row will be your person, third row will be the outcome. And this is for our sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So let's see. All right. First card out. King of Pentacles in reverse. The Nine of Cups in reverse. The Moon. The person you are um, dealing with. They have the Seven of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Devil in reverse. Your guys' outcome for the day is the Six of Swords, the Six of Cups, And the Four of Swords. Your guys at the bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Emperor. Clarified by the Four of Wands. And the Two of Cups. Your next card out. Three of Swords, Ace of Wands, Page of Swords. So, let me see what we got here. We'll start with the bottom of your deck. So, Aries, you're here today, front and center, but this is uh, most importantly gaining your sense of strength, gaining your sense of stability, finding out what it is that you want and going for it no matter what. This is somebody who um, runs a good business. This is somebody that runs a good house, uh, somebody that has their goals in mind and goes and gets them. Uh, your goals, your wants, your needs are a stable home with love, somebody to share uh, this life with, somebody to create with, somebody to um, work with, to build a solid foundation, to equally give and take in the relationship and not be giving more energy than you're getting or getting more en energy that you're giving. Um, it's just finding the balance and duality, finding uh, the, the even spot, you know, the, the happy medium there. Um, you guys do feel, however, Unstable. You could be dealing with an earth sign uh, that is not present in your life at the moment, who is currently nurturing someone else, nurturing a different uh, person, working on a relationship with uh, somebody else, and it's causing you a lot of instability. Um, you're wanting to nurture this relationship, and they're not there to be nurtured. Uh, you also have the Nine of Cups with the Five of Swords in reverse. This relationship could have ended on a bad note, could have ended with a fight. The last time you talked, you guys could have said some things to each other that was not very nice, could have caused a lot of uh, hurt. And even more so, the more you think about it, the more it hurts. Like, how dare they say, you know, da, da, da. But um, this is an, in the past. You are walking away from this energy that feels draining to you. Um, at one point in time, you had a lot of wishes, a lot of dreams with this person, and you're starting to let those go with it being in reverse. Um, there's something that uh, is not not being shown to you at the moment with the moon. There could be secrets centering this relationship. Um, yeah, there could be uh, a lot of fear about moving forward. Um, you're not taking action right now. You're just sitting and waiting for somebody to make a choice. Um, either they didn't choose you or or they still have not chosen but whatever the the decision was, whether they they chose you or they didn't choose anybody, it's still a, a choice. And it's making you feel unstable, ungrounded, um, playing a lot of the replays of your con last conversation in your head. Um, it's time to let that energy go, to not dwell on it. Uh, right now, you're just feeling stuck with the queen of swords in reverse. This is taking no action, just sitting in your thoughts. Um, and thinking over and over about how this person did not provide you with what they had promised you. This was a promise from somebody. Uh, the person that you are dealing with is very defensive. 
Uh, they feel they have conquered the situation at the moment. Um, they have a lot of things going on in their life that they are trying to, to win, trying to, uh, trying to get figured out so they can move forward. Yeah, they are, uh, they are very defensive when it comes to, uh, could be you Sagittarius or any fire sign for that matter, but they're, they're really struggling to find balance in their life. They're really struggling to, uh, get their shit figured out so that they can move forward. They're stuck right now. Um, this is also finding inner peace, inner healing, um, finding the self-confidence to move forward and towards a relationship. Like I said, the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse, so they're not just slow. They're stuck right now, uh, stuck uh, due to finances for some of them, but they won't be stuck for very long. They are going to move forward. There is movement here. They're moving towards either uh, Sagittarius or Cancer, possibly. Um somewhere in your chart, but they are moving forward. They're moving single out of a situation that caused them to feel stuck. Um, they are also uh, moving away from a toxic energy, uh, an overindulgence of something, somebody that they are tied to, bound to, married to, committed to, however it fits the situation, they are moving out and breaking free from that energy. Yeah, this is somebody that they had walked away from in the past. They are breaking free from some, could be another earth sign, but um, they're breaking free from somebody who they had abandoned in the past or um, somebody that they have children with. Yeah, and moving towards their seven of cups. There's a lot of confusion here within the person you are dealing with, or this could be you, Sagittarius having a lot of options, but there's a lot of confusion, um, on, on where to go. But in this cup, you see, or in these cards, the rainbow, you see the same rainbow is in this cup transferring from this cup. And one cup has that rainbow. So they're no longer feeling confused. They know who's going to bring them healing. They know who's going to bring them inner peace. They know who's going to bring them balance. And that is their soulmate. Why is the six of cups here? A lot of sixes on the ground. Um, releasing fear, embracing trust, balancing between the spiritual and material realms um, is coming for you guys. Why is the Six of Cups here for our fire signs? The Ace of Pentacles. So this person is a soulmate to you. They are going to offer you this new beginning. They are going to uh, come back. They are moving towards you. You're moving away from this energy, this rough waters, getting out of this situation in your head. Um and moving forward, and they're going to follow right behind you with the chariot in the same um, position. They're going to follow you because once you move forward, they move forward. Yeah, and they're going to move forward and make you a love offer, make you um, give you a little bit of a clue on how they're feeling inside because this person has been very closed off emotionally, not telling you how they feel, um, not telling you what it is that they want. They're just left you with a lot of confusion. There is some healing that needs to be done. Um, healing of the head and the heart. And in that time of healing, you're going to have the uh, truth from the divine awaken you um, about this 10 of cups in reverse. So um, there's a lot of healing that needs to be done from a relationship of the past. For this person, um, it is a relationship that they're currently getting out of. For you guys, it is the brokenheartedness of the past of when this person walked away from you. I do feel this is somebody you have been with already in this lifetime. Okay. Yeah. Um, when they come out of this time of silence, they will speak. They will be awakened to who their two of cups is, who their soulmate is, and what they need to do to go forward and get that soulmate. Why is the four of wands here? The ace of swords. Yeah, because they were lying to you about their um, home life. They were lying to you about another commitment. Um, but the truth will come out with this ace of swords about building a new life together, about building this new home together. Uh, you guys could be moving together. Um, there could be children involved. And that's what's holding them back. Why is this emperor here? They could be worried about paying child support, I just heard. 
Okay, the Hermit. Yeah, they are going within. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, Aries, this could be you as well. But um, they're figuring it out in this time of self-reflection and being uh, withdrawn from the world with this hangman also. Um, they're figuring out that they want to um, have this with you. They want to... Um, they want to spend their life with you with the six of cups. They view you as their soulmate. And right under that is the four of wands. So this will move into a commitment. This will move into something stable. It's just going to take time with the hermit and the hanged man here um, of getting over a uh, heartache of the past and healing their mind and heart so that they can uh, move forward towards you. Uh, make the effort popped out. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. So continue to heal, continue to move forward. Codependency is also affecting this relationship, but I do feel they are breaking free from that, whether it be an addiction, um, obsessive thoughts, somebody they're married to, and they feel uh, bonded to them for finances. They are going to get out of this codependent energy though, with the devil in reverse. Um, and the bottom of your guys's deck is worth the wait. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Your angels are doing what it, they have to do to, um, to allow you to have this in your life. And they are coming towards you. It's just going to take a little bit of time. And uh, the angels are working hard to make that a reality for you guys. So fire signs, um, great reading overall. Just have to continue to heal, continue to move forward and away from this... Um, this heartbreak and energy find stability again within your life and um and just be patient because your person that you are meant to be with is coming towards you it'll be beautiful and stable once it returns they just have some work to do themselves so fire signs have a great thursday i wish you love light and god bless